we're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He really got a hold of that kick. The Jaguars' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Got it. And he goes down quickly. So they go to the air and pick up six. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Throwing the post route in the holes of zone coverage is just pitch and catch for these guys. They make it look so easy. Here we go. Caught out in the open. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. That brings up second and one. Tackle around the 24-yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. And he throws it away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 24. they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's taken down around the three-yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Let's go! Touchdown, Jaguars! run and a score by the halfback and a nice call by the coach there just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line he makes the PAT a nine play 75 yard drive and they come away with seven points so the score now seven nothing everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff he kicks it off and he got all of that one <laughs> Taken down by the kicker. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Mike 50, Mike 50. He's hit and got away. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Second and 15. Ball on their own 19. Three down, three down. Hey, watch number And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. And that 
play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. They'll line it up again on third down. So that'll make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. South Alabama's coaching staff, Kirk, I thought did a nice job getting them ready to play in this place. Yeah, and you and I have seen this sometimes when we travel. It's, it's where you see the crowd noise uh, throughout the practice week and how much that prepares them. I think the fact they did that to get ready has allowed them to go out there and execute and not be intimidated at all by this crowd. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He's going to air it long. And it's going the other way. So it's intercepted by the corner after the errant pass. Well, the corner came up with a pick, but he can thank his defensive line for that one. They got up into the quarterback's face, put the pressure, and made him get rid of the ball, and the corner was there to make the pick. First and 10. Ball on the 47. He is drilled at the 45. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Two yard gain on the quarterback keeper. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Mike 50, Mike 50. Man left, man left. Hey, watch number 33. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 7-3, South Alabama. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Jaguars making a bid for an upset here today, Herbie. But do they really have it in them, do you think? Brad, it's been a, it's a great start by this team. But I just can't see them holding up for four quarters. I think eventually you'll see the better team emerge. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. South Alabama is up four. Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. The crowd really making it difficult. Out of bounds around the 29-yard line. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. South Alabama's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. On play action, he'll scramble. Slides down. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Two times, two times. 
So at the end of one quarter, South Alabama in front, 7-3. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Fights forward to about the 40. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. tight end. Huge gain and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. down and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. There was some movement on the line. Green, 45. False start, start offense. offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're Still in a third, third down. down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third and goal for the lead. Finds his receiver, touchdown. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. A nice eight play, 76 yard drive, and they put up seven points. LSU to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. Set check, 180, 28 wide. Run, 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 run. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of six on the play. That makes it first and ten. Let's go, D. Check. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Game of 11 on the play. First down. And down he goes, right around the 40. Number 32 makes the tackle at the 40 yard line. First down. Number 32 gets the carry. 
makes it second and eight. Catches it, and that's all. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. A two-yard run by the halfback. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. He's at the 20, brought down at about the 13. So they run it on fourth down, and they pick up the first. Boy, big play there, Brad. You know, a lot of times on fourth down, you'll see the ball carrier panic, but not this guy. This is a good job of showing patience and letting the run develop. The Jaguars use their second timeout. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they make the stop right around the four-yard line. They're crowding the line. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. South Alabama to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch. Going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. Second down and six. Ball on the 29-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Let's go! Green 95. LSU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Strike to the receiver. Tackle at the 38-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. They bring him down. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's tackled the 39-yard line. Four yards on that play. Well, anytime a quarterback sees zone coverage, this is a very easy and comfortable throw. There's plenty of room to work for the receiver. He's able to get out of his cut and get the football out on the edge. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he splits the uprights. So at the end of the half, the Jaguars lead 
very close game now as we start the second half. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wow, close game here, and up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays, and you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at the 28. Woo! That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of three yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it 37. 37. Larry, Larry. Eat it up. Go, he gets rid of this one. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. <laughs> Broke away from one, and he's taken down at the 30-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? South Alabama, up a point. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Seven-yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Here's a quick throw, and he stays in bounds to make the catch. I'm telling you right now, when you have that kind of speed, you are a real threat to go all the way. So that could have been even worse for this defense. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. The ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, the verdict is that it was no catch. They missed it on the field, but that was a bang-bang play. The important thing is they got the call right. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Incomplete, almost picked off. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. Oh, excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Pitch is back. They bring him down in the backfield. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Set! Black on the eight. They'll bring him down around the 45-yard line. Oh. 
attempts at complete over the middle. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. After a decent run up the gut. Tackled for a loss. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. That makes it second and 14. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 46 yard line. run up the middle. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. That'll bring up third and eight. I'm gonna run you over. I'm gonna run you over. Mike 28. And he can't get away from the pressure. Fourth down. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. South Alabama with a one-point lead. There's a strike complete. He's knocked out of bounds at the 44. That makes it first and ten. Watch number thirty-three. Hey, check Mike fifty-seven. Mike fifty-seven. They bring the quarterback down. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So the sack makes this a second and long. And he's hit immediately. They can't hear a thing down there. Now he's flushed and they got him. away and it's a booming punt he's tackled at the 19 this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series the burden is going to be felt by their defense on the run right side runs outside for a nice game It's second and six. Ball on their own 23. Throws it. Incomplete pass. This is definitely going to be pass interference. However, I'm not sure who they're going to call it on. Defense. They're giving away oh, man, three yards down. and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. First and 10. Ball on their own 38. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. That's three down and one to go. The Jaguars lead it by one.
Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Here we go. He might have a chance. Makes it to the 47. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They'll line up with five wide receivers. First down grab by the receiver. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47 yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a that team's confidence if it keeps happening. All day, just like that, just like that. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Here we go. Jack, Jack. Thunder! Thunder! Steps up in the pocket and sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Mike, Mike, he's coming, he's coming. Check in. Here we go. That's right, baby. 59 Philly. Get to that quickly. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And it hits the upright. No good. They missed the opportunity to take the lead. Oh, boy. And believe me, nobody feels worse than that kicker right now. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. South Alabama is up one. Scrambling around. And he's going to come up with a sack. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. Gets rid of it quickly. Nice grab on the play. The 10. They can't bring him down, and he's in. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. A quick two-play, 61-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Well, you work on the two-minute offense literally 12 months out of the year for these kind of opportunities. Well, here it is in front of you. It's a one-possession game, over two minutes to go in the game. What are you going to do about it? That's a great tackle at the 30, five yards. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. 
A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Gives it to the back. He's to the 40, and he hits him hard at the 43-yard line. From the 45 yard line, it's first down. They go back to him on a quick throw. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He sails it long, drops it. Number three, he That'll bring up third and two. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. the 10 drop back a yard they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated them there we have less than a minute to go and he carries the ball for a nice game lsu is going to have to use their second time out of the half the ball's on the six yard line and we've got third and goal And that just might do it. Intercepted. Oh, no. They really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. in their own territory. LSU will take their final timeout. Brought down around the 13-yard line. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. It's final, a close one to the very end. 21-13, South Alabama. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.